In the basement of this psychiatric hospital in Belgium, visitors are met with a gruesome sight. Here, there are almost 3,000 human brains, the biggest collection in the world, taken from the mentally ill, epileptics, people with Alzheimer's, and even boxers. It's a scientific treasure chest, to be used for research into illnesses such as depression or schizophrenia. Nowadays in Belgium, it's really hard, if not almost impossible, to get your hands on, on actual tissue uh, of uh, patients after they have deceased. The collection was started in 1951 by a British doctor and was almost lost because of a lack of storage space in London. Now transferred to Belgium, each pickled brain comes with its own medical file, kept up until the death of the patient. These brains of the collected in the 1950s and early 60s are from patients that never got in contact with these drugs, so that makes that we can investigate brains of psychiatric uh, patients that have only suffered from the illness and have not had the impact of these drugs. This is a whole human brain. The brain is the body's most well-protected organ and therefore the most difficult to get to and the hardest to study. This makes the collection all the more important. We are looking at whether inflammation in the brain can cause or worsen or influence in some way um, the disease course of several psychiatric disorders. Just one of the questions the team is hoping to answer in the months to come.